Hello everyone, welcome to IW Expert. Today we are going to see project about a diabetic retinopathy prediction. This is the project which we are going to discuss today. We all know about the diabetic retinopathy. What's the meaning of diabetic retinopathy? Diabetic retinopathy means the excess amount of blood vessels formed inside your eye. So that's called as a diabetic retinopathy. Usually our Indian people mostly affected due to the diabetic retinopathy. So first of all you have to know what is the main cause of diabetic retinopathy? The main cause of diabetic retinopathy was increased sugar level. So the increased sugar level causes high amount of blood flow, blood pressure. This causes excessive amount of blood vessels inside your eye. So this causes diabetic retinopathy. So we all know about that. What's the main drawback of diabetic retinopathy? What's the main problem? What's the main issues involved here? The main issue of diabetic retinopathy was loss of vision. You all know about, you all know that uh, in your circumference, there are the aged people means frequently they will go to the eye hospital to check their eye level. Okay, so what they will do means they will remove the excess amount of flesh, the excess amount of skin part which surrounded your eye. They will remove that. So the diabetic retinopathy will cause loss of height, uh, short listed uh, vision, not continuous vision. Okay, it will affect so many people. So what you have to do means we have to create a machine learning algorithm to predict and prevent the diabetic retinopathy this was we are going to do today so you, you may get the doubt how we are going to predict here how we are going to prevent here prediction is okay how we are going to prevent the diabetic retinopathy using machine learning first of all there is a certain types in the diabetic retinopathy for example normal vision mild severe moderate then profilative these are the main levels involved in the diabetic retinopathy disease so what we are going to do means we have to collect various data set. Usually you can go to the Kaggle, you can check uh, ADMOS, Adaptive Blind Data Set 2019. If you are searching this data set name means you can find the complete data set of the diabetic retinopathy in your Kaggle website. So once we download the data set means what they provided for us means they have created more images on the diabetic retinopathy. For example, for mild states, they collected various images in the BMP format. That for normal vision, they have collected various files, various images. What type of images means retinal scanned images. They have taken retinal scanned images to detect this project. So we have to collect all the data set. Then what you have to do means we have to apply the pre-processing here. What's the meaning of pre-processing? Pre-processing means already I mentioned we have collected BMP format images here. If some images having different format, different extension, for example, JPEG, PNG means what we have to do means we have to convert those images into single format. All the images belong to JPEG or all the images belong to BMP. That's what you are going to do here. So once those images are converted into single format, we have to resize, scale all the images. What's the meaning of scaling means we have to make sure all the images are having same dimension, height and width. Each image is having dimension, you all know that height and width. We have to convert all images into the single dimension. That's what you have to do. Once the pre-processing stage done means, what we have to do means, we have to do the feature extraction part. Uh, many students asking us doubt. So what's the process involved in the feature extraction? Could you explain me more detailly? So I do explain for you. What is the process involved in the feature extraction means? For example, uh, I, I just give you some basic example for you. You are keeping five images of Italy. So, five different images of Italy you are having different plate color but Italy is common in all the images for example you have taken green color plate with Italy yellow color plate with Italy red color plate with Italy so different plates but same Italy you are having Italy having more or less same shape you know Italy having more or less same color but the plate having different color so you kept all the images together forming data set as a Italy that's what you are going to do so once it did means, what we are going to do means, you have to collect the feature extraction. So if you are applying feature extraction for the five place means, what is the common part involved in all the images? What is the common part involved in all the images means, you all know, it is the common part for the all images. It is the common part involved in all the five images. Plate doesn't matter, the color doesn't matter, but it is, that's what the common part involved in the all the part. So what you have to do means, we have to collect that data set, Italy means it having a round shape. It having similar to a uh, white color background. It having similar that dot 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 matrix texture. That's what called as a feature. We have to collect the feature data set. 
so that's what i am going to do for normal images i kept some images for profilative state we have kept some images for mild state we have kept some images what feature extraction will do means it will extract the common features involved in the mild state common features what type of shape what type of color what type of textures it involved in the normal images commonly it will extract all the parts those parts are converted into digital parts uh, for example zeros and binary values those binary values are final extracted feature for the each and every state normal profilerative mild severe it extracted once the extraction done means it have to train all the values training means you have to store in the memory then only uh, if you are testing means it will have to give the result now for storing purpose for storing all those data what you are going to do means we have to create rcnn regional convolutional neural network this was the proposed system of this project regional convolutional neural network this is the completely newly implemented algorithm for this project you don't find the exact algorithm for diabetic retinopathy somewhere this is the complete novel algorithm which you are going to do here so if you are using frcn fast regional convolutional neural network in our project means what basically training will do means those training what will do means it will store all the values inside the memory so usually the training state having hidden layers so those hidden layers are storing all the values once the data values are stored in the memory means then what you are going to do means we have to create the testing part for testing as usual we have to create a web ui that web ui completely based on flash framework by using flash framework we have to use html pages to create the front end ui part once the html page is done means we have to build the back end using the python testing part you can give any type of images it doesn't mean that you have to give the only data set images you can check with any retinal images perfectly it will work once you are going to upload any your testing images means it will extract all the features pre process extract all the features those features already compared with the rcnn part that rcnn will compare with each and every state for example mild it will compare the testing image with the mild normal profilerative severe then you can give some accuracy or oh, this image is similarly matches with the severe part 98% it's matching so the image which you are uploaded belongs to severe category the affected disease was severe it will give this type of result finalized result the then we can compare rcn and accuracy precision recall with the existing part also we do give better accuracy when compared to the existing system that's what we are going to do in this project click please connect with this video this video completely contains project presentation explanation project complete coding demo part please connect with this video you can gain more knowledge on this project this is the project base paper which you have taken for the consideration this is the itw transaction paper the project base paper titled as hybrid conversion neural network model for automatic retinopathy classification from the fundus images that is the project base paper by title itself you come to know about that they have used to conversion neural network cnn as the proposed model but in our enhancement instead of that cnn classification we are going to apply rcnn faster rcnn faster regional conversion neural network that's what we are going to apply today in the base paper they have taken fundus images then for feature extraction they have used inception model resnet model using those model they applied the feature extraction then finally they got result as a no diabetic retinopathy mild moderate or severe then profilerative this is the result they have taken for classification purpose they have implemented conversion neural network model this is the model they have created but instead of this cnn model we are going to implement using faster rcnn faster regional conversion neural network that is the algorithm which we are going to do let's see our presentation for the more details let's see our project presentation so this is the project presentation of the uh, diabetic retinopathy classification the proposed title reformed as detection of diabetic retinopathy from retinal images this is the reformed title the project main objective was to develop a system for detecting diabetic retinopathy from the retinal images with wide range of classification with high accuracy wide range of classification means you are not going to find out uh, only diabetic retinopathy or not diabetic retinopathy 
you're going to find out the classes involved in that. For example, severe, mild, profoundly relative. Those are the class classes involved in that. You're going to find out that also. The main object given here. So the main object we are given that the common cause of vision loss among the Indian people with the diabetes leads to diabetic retinopathy. So we are going to implement with a certain algorithm which can be able to find out the diabetic retinopathy images from various levels. That's what we are going to do. For this, we have to use feature extraction, then foster or CNN for automatic diagnosis process, which will combinedly will make the accurate result when compared to the base paper. The uh, introduction given here. So in introduction given that uh, uh, obesity, very common in nowadays. So those obesity causes are due to the high sugar levels. This will lead to the diabetic retinopathy. So among 23 million Americans, 53 million Europeans, overall 50 million Indians suffering from the diabetic diseases. So with the diabetic retinopathy prediction was very much important for those peoples. So this is the literacy survey of this project. We are given extensive, extensive literature survey analysis for this project. While getting this project, you can get everything along with that. So we have taken around 15 reference paper for existing system or uh, literacy survey formation. So this is the project existing system. In existing system, we are given that the existing system uses convolutional neural network for predicting purpose. But the main drawback of the convolutional neural network was it having primary issue of grading issue. Grading issue means it cannot able to distinguish between the retinal images and normal images. It will give the poor result when, for the, when applying for the retinal images. That is the main drawback here. To overcome this result, we are going to apply proposed system with FRCN, Regional Conversion Neural Network, Faster RCN. That's what we are going to do. So this is the project proposed uh, flow diagram or SLS architecture. So you may find out we have to apply photograph from the fundus images using various clinic. Then we have to apply pre-processing. As I mentioned earlier, we have to convert those images into a digital format. Then we have to form the data set. Then we have to apply feature extraction, deep feature extraction from those data set. Then finally, we have to train using FRCNN model, then test using the same FRCNN model. It will give the relevant data of diabetic retinopathy or else healthy person. So this is the proposed to model. We are having four models in this project, pre-processing model, normalization model, feature extraction model, then matching as well as classification model. Those are the models involved in this project. So to implement this project, we need Anaconda Navigator with Java support. We are using Python as a major language, Flask as a backend for this project. You need Windows or Mac OS to run this project. So this is the conclusion. In conclusion, we are given that FRCNN giving better accuracy for the, when compared to the exiting normal CNN. You can apply color images, grayscale images, any type of images here. It uses four stages for the prediction, which will give the better accuracy. So this is the reference for this project. Uh, let's connect it with the video. Now we are going to move for the demo of the project. To run the demo of the project, we have to move to the project code folder. So this is the project coding folder. So this is the full data set we have taken. So in the data set, two parts, uh, three parts are there. Training part, testing part, validation part. Three part of data sets are available. It's taken as a 80 is to 10 is to 10 ratio. Let's open the training part. In the training part, there is uh, five categories overall. No diabetic retinopathy, normal, mild, severe, profilerative. Those are the types. Let's see the profilerative parts. Those are the profilerative affected images. Let's see the severe part. Those are the those images are belong to severe part. So this is the mild category. Mild retinopathy images. Then no diabetic retinopathies. So this image is having no diabetic retinopathy. So normal one. Those are the images which you are going to consideration. For same as for uh, validation also available. This is the which we, uh, overall data set which you are going to train. So let's move on to the main code. This is the main code which you have created. To run this project, we have to run the main code here. So for that, for, we are copying the project location. Then moving to the Anaconda Navigator to run this project. Let's open the project environment. 
so after opening the project environment just use cd space project location then enter again type python space app dot py this is the command you have to run for running this project once you are enter the command means it will create the localhost address for this project let's copy the localhost address use it in any browser it will work as a website application so i am just waiting for the project to compile once project compiled means it will give the localhost address this is the project localhost address just copy the localhost address move on to the browser paste the project localhost address here that's it so once you are at the localhost address means it will give the website <laughs> this is the project address here project abstract also given here this is the project abstract go on to the login page in the login page we have to use admin admin as a username and password we have to use admin admin as a username password login success then you can apply upload any images here i have taken some testing images for this purpose so those are the testing images i have to check just i have to upload in our project that's it go to the project location in the project location just go to the diabetic retinopathy inside that go to the test images just upload any images just i am uploading one images here it will extract the features of those images just give predict this is it will give the result overall result i am waiting by the overall result so the image you have uploaded belongs to normal diabetic retinopathy then i am uploading another images here let's upload this one i am uploading this one let's give predict this is Once I upload it, means it will take some time for the prediction as well as feature extraction. This image comes under the severe diabetic retinopathy category. Let's upload one more images. Let's see this one. I'm uploading this images. So this is the moderate, moderate disease. Then go to the another images. I have uploaded this one. So this is the profile relative. So this is how this project will work. You can upload any images from internet, doctor collected images, any images. It will work perfectly. Then go to the analysis part, then chart page. In the chart page, you can find overall how much classes of images you have trained. Then go for the overall diabetic classes. How many percentage of images taken in the in each category. Then overall accuracy of the project. The overall training accuracy of the FRC and was 98 percentage. Testing accuracy was 99 percentage. So this is the overall accuracy of this project. To get this project with complete documentation, presentation, code, and everything, just visit our website iwexpert.com. We do provide this project at low price. The link description, a link, and buying process, everything given in the description. Please check the process. Thank. You.